St. Vincent College is a place of education, spirituality, and history. But underneath its quiet, rural facade, some say that it is a veritable supernatural hotbed. Founded in 1846 in Latrobe, Pennsylvania, the college has been home to many generations of people. According to popular opinion, some of these people still roam the campus as ghosts. Father Rene Collar has been part of SVC since 1961, more than enough time to familiarize himself with the college's paranormal reputation. It's an old campus, uh, there's a, a European background, uh, I think people are, uh, are interested in, in the supernatural and we've always had this tradition in, in America of, of ghosts and spirits, uh, Halloween for example. Um, so I think people are looking for explanations of things they can't explain and they'll say a ghost did it or, or a spirit did it. Students of the school have also claimed to have sightings of the paranormal. Junior John Takish had a startling experience while walking back to his dorm late one evening. I was in Wimmer really, really late at night, and I was walking back to meet up with some of my friends, and I heard footsteps following me. I kept turning around, looking behind me, couldn't see anything. Hear it again, look back, couldn't see anything. So I finally get to the carry center where I met up with my friends, and they asked me who was the person behind me. So what do you mean? They said there was something black just following you as you came over to the carry center. Students have also reported strange incidents in the cemetery. Jared Antonacci, who works in the graveyard for the college, has heard his fair share of ghost stories. Two of the guys that work there now, they had a, a burial in the winter a couple, probably like 10 years ago. The next day when they came in, there's uh, I guess some freaky things happened where there's lights on the ceiling that usually didn't work and they were flickering on and off that day. And then the room would get really, really cold. And my supervisor now, he turned up the thermostat to make it warmer. And I guess like a couple minutes later, half hour later, the room got really cold again. And there were only two of them working and the one guy was there the whole time. So he knew that he couldn't have turned down the thermostat, so he went and checked it, and the thermostat was turned down again. Stories like these are not uncommon here at St. Vincent. In fact, many people have their own tales about supernatural experiences. But just how valid are they? You know, a good ghost story or a good ghost uh, legend always has some basis in reality. So they may be true, they may not be true, but there's always some, something which has happened uh, which people can hook on to and either spin a story uh, or, or make it believable. There's some people that are really skeptical and, and really don't think a second thing about it. And then there's other people that did have experiences like the one that I had and uh, they just can't explain it. Uh, some are, I think. Others seem pretty wild, just make up, trying to scare some people. But other than that, yeah, I think some are real. Perhaps the deceased still walk among us here at St. Vincent. But if you want to find out for sure, maybe you should take a walk through the darkest part of campus in the dead of night. Connor Gilbert, SVC-TV, St. Vincent College.